Like a destructive twister, I was a wretched sinner, causing pain like a splinter. A ginger with a heart cold as winter. Walls up, no love could enter. Given the middle finger, sitting by that river, I started to shiver. God did it bigger. My soul was bitter. I heard that quiet whisper. I miss her. Make me the sinner. Follow me like Twitter, and I'll make you a winner with a flow that's killer. Now that I'm saved, haters trying to grill me like I'm dinner. They forgot I'm not, I'm not a beginner, but rather a finisher, a new creature. God's representer, no longer a tormentor, I surrendered. Now like Paul, a gospel defender, a truth mentor, gave me a righteous temper. I am my only contender. To the body of Christ, I became a member. I'm in awe over the Lord's splendor. He truly is a forgiver. Family, I just experienced something so cool in my office. Um, Miss Fanny, she's probably like my parents' age. You know, most of the people that work in my office are older than me. And, of course, you know, they make more money than I do. They know that I live check to check, and I do what I can to get by, you know, working weekends, cleaning houses and everything. Well, yesterday, Miss Fanny um, forgot her wallet at home, and I had a few pieces of extra bread. You know, sometimes I'll bring bread in. If, um, if I don't have leftovers from dinner, I'll make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch or make some toast, you know, whatever. So, of course, you know, I, I wanted to offer her some bread. So I asked her, and she said, no, I got my lunch. I just forgot my, my wallet, you know, and thank you. And just a few minutes ago, she came up to me again, and she said, Melissa, I just wanted you to know how much I appreciate you. She said, I was telling my husband that, um, you know, the one with the least amount of money and the one that doesn't have as much was the one to offer me food yesterday and she and her eyes kind of teared up and and I gave her a hug and I told her I loved her you know that's what we do we look out for one another you know and let me remind you this is this one of the one of the women that um a few months back I had it out with I was correcting them about how they looked at the homeless so you know it it filled me with a sense of joy I, I all glory to the most high God um, for working in Miss Fanny's heart and for her to recognize that in me, it made me feel good. So when you start to doubt yourself and your walk with Christ, you know, God has a way of uh, confirming to you that you're on the right path and that um, the things that you are doing are being recognized. And um, it's a good feeling. So don't be discouraged, you know. I'm, I, I, it's easy for me to say because I do get discouraged. I do get weary. But the Lord always lifts us up, you know. He knows how to, to send people our way to encourage us and to let us know, hey, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, and what Miss Fanny just did earlier just really meant the world to me. Um, it just shows me how God works in people and how he can, he can change their way of thinking and how he can change their hearts to how they can look at someone is being themselves, you know, that we're not looking at each other for race or for color or for one that has less than one another or looking down on one another. You know, iron sharpens iron. We're supposed to lift each other up. So that brought me a lot of joy today. So all praises to the Most High for that. Guys, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Smile. <laughs>